Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to integrate Google Sheets in your N8N workflows. First of all, navigate to your N8N homepage and then create a new workflow or navigate to the workflow you want to integrate Google Sheets in. For our case, we'll be creating a new workflow. Let's select start from scratch. And then here, once you're inside the workflow, just right click on add node, look for Google Sheets. Here, you will get all the available actions for Google Sheets in N8N. There are two types, either triggers, which are used to trigger the whole workflow. So they must be in the beginning of the workflow or in the start of the workflow as triggers or the actions for Google Sheets, which can be included within the uh, automation. So for this, we will have create spreadsheet, append or update row in sheet, delete sheet, create sheet, and all the other actions. Now that we know what are the available actions, let's start creating a sample workflow. For this workflow, I created a Google Sheet document, uh, which is the start document that has the fields, product name, type, and price. It's still empty. We are trying to fill it within uh, N8N. So for this, we'll be creating a form that once submitted, it will be mapped directly to the Google Sheet document. So right click, click on add node, look for form, N8N form, and then on new N8N form event. Here we can give our form a title. Let's name it store form to add new clothes to the store. Here we must create all the fields that are available in our sheet. So we'll have to create product name, type and price. Let's start with product name. Its text must be required. Let's go with type. Let's make it a drop down list so it's easier. We limit the users uh, to the types we want. So for option one, we will say pant. Option two, shoe. Option three, shirt, required. And here add another form, which is for the price. And let's select the element type as number and required. We can test it. Just to be able to map it later. As you can see here, we get all the fields that we have filled. And now uh, we must link this form directly to the Google Sheet. So when we fill or submit a form here, it will be automatically uh, filled inside the Google Sheet document we created. So let's go look for Google Sheets, append row in Sheet. First, you will have to create a credential for your Google Sheets account. Just click on create new credential. You will have the option to use either OAuth 2 or service account. OAuth is the easiest. So you have to click sign in with Google and log in with your Google account. I already have done that. So no need to redo it again. Here you have to select for the resource, either sheet within document or the whole document. We'll be adding a row inside the sheet. So it makes sense to select the sheet. Operation here, we have to select append row as we are going to add a row inside the sheet. You can also choose another action. If you don't want to uh, use the append row, you can use the create, clear, get rows without deleting this node and adding another node with the specified action. So we'll keep it at append row. Here we have to select our document, the store document and the sheet, the all closed sheet. Now we will have to map all the fields within the Google sheet. So for product name, we drag and drop this, the type here, and the price here. And now, just like that, we have our workflow ready. We can click on either test workflow just to give it a test. Let's fill it. Type pant. Price, let's give it 177 and submit. You will see that our workflow is executing and then it executed successfully. We can go to Google Sheet now and we see that the blue jeans has been added already to the Google Sheet. Now, if we don't want to each time go inside N8N and activate the workflow through this button, we can set the workflow to active. And then we can use the link or the URL link of the uh, form we created. So we go to production URL and copy it. And then we can go to another browser window and open the form. We can start filling the uh, fields. Let's do this. 
the form has uh, been recorded we can see in the executions here that an execution has been activated we can see what are the fields so air force one we got it already and it has been successfully added inside the google sheet we can go to the google sheet document and we will find the air force one in the sheet so yeah this has been it guys for integrating google sheets in your n8n workflows i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial goodbye